Hi everybody and welcome to Vintage and Vino. Cheers. Cheers. You got your wine. Let's get into the vintage. We're drinking a Shiraz tonight. Enjoy with us as we look at the great stuff we found at the estate sale this past weekend. Actually, two estate sales. Okay. Yeah. Well, we're, that's good. That's good. Yeah. We're going to jump right in. Uh, first, we have a nice little set. Uh, I don't know what's it called. It's, what kind of set? The hostess. Is it? The hostess yeah, set. Yeah, it's the hostess set. Jerry will tell you about it, but this is yeah. the ice bucket. And uh, it's a black, uh, it's Indiana glass, black Tierra diamond point. This is the ice bucket. We have six of the cups that go along with it. So it's the entire hostess set. We, um, the, the, the ice bucket was hanging out in the garage covered with dust. And these were in the dining room in the hutch. And I grabbed them both knowing that they belong together. So we really lucked out to find the whole set. It's pretty un, pretty unusual to have the whole set. Mm -hmm. um, I think I found one other set that sold uh, on eBay. So we're, we're kind of excited to get this listed. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's a nice set. No chips. Mm -hmm. I mean, you think with all these little diamond points that maybe Noth nothing. one might get yeah. chipped or something, the handle's in good shape, everything's yeah. good shape. Yeah. Uh, it's just it's a little nice. bit, it's just a little bit dirty because it was sitting out in the garage, but, uh, I washed it. other than that, okay. anyway, we Indiana glass, 1970s, nice piece. Next is this cute little parrot, uh, necklace. Very tropical, very tropical. Yeah. Look at that. What I wanted to mention when we brought this kind of thing up was that Tim and I have kind of decided we want to have things on our stores, in our stores, that are more unusual. Fun is okay, unusual, but I want it to be somebody's taste as well. And this is definitely, I don't know, I think it's kind of cool and it would be fun to wear to a luau or, you know, a, a Hawaiian party or something. I mean, it's just fun and you got to have it. So I believe the woods are the beads are wood and the parrot is definitely wood, mm -hmm. um, and it's it's vintage and uh, it's just really cool. Yeah, really and nice. I don't know. We 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 paid little for this, like five bucks. And the best I can tell, there actually was one or two of these online. I couldn't believe it. Wow. Here I am trying to get stuff. You know, we're trying to get stuff that's different, and there actually were one or two of these online. But uh, looks like we can get about 25 bucks for it. Wow, that's yeah. good. That's yeah. great. Yeah. That's great. It might be summer before somebody actually buys it. It might be. But that's okay. Looks like a nice little spring, you know, something that you would wear with a little sundress or something like that. Yeah. 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 Good. Mm. Cool. Green's a good color on you, dude. Uh, it's, it's good. It's good color. <laughs> okay, the next one is this little perfume bottle. <laughs> and the... I guess you're supposed to unscrew. This does unscrew from that yeah. bottle and pour it in there. I don't know. No, I think you just. Or maybe you I just think, yeah. dab it on. And, I, yeah, yeah. 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 But, but it's kind of cool. When you unscrew like it, a, is this a dauber? I uh, no, it's no? just it's just threaded on. So the you inside. would just like dip it over, like yeah, you, yeah, okay. like on your finger and yeah. press it on. Yeah, yeah. Like I would know well, that. It's called now. artistic. It's on the bottom. Artistic collections, I believe, or originals. Artistic, oh, artistic originals. Originals. Yeah. And, um, you know, the wood bottle, I didn't even know it was perfume when I picked it up. I didn't open it. Kind of looks like a genie. It, you know? Yeah, like genie you, in a bottle. You start yelling, hey, genie. <laughs> but Maybe yeah, it's, it's magic perfume. It's kind of cool. Let's dab some on and go buy a lottery ticket. No, let's not do that. <laughs> anyway, there it is. There it is. It's kinda nice. Cute. It's fun. Here's another little whimsical, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. kind of a, kind of a <sighs> African type. Now, we picked this up from the uh, estate sale in Sun City. Yeah. That lady was obviously a traveler because we got some very interesting, interesting things that are, she had to have picked up in another country. Uh, and and this, is, this is different and it's what we wanted. Yeah. So um, it's fun, but I, I haven't quite figured out. I think the beads are mostly wood and glass. But the cool thing is this, um, 
if you look, the, the lock, this is an old lock. Nobody, nobody makes these, these clasps anymore uh, with the jewelry. So I know it's got some age on it and it's wood and maybe, I don't know, look at that one. Shell, this one look at that shell. Is That's it awesome. a shell? Look at that. I mean, that is just pretty neat. Yeah. So, cool. yeah, it's pretty cool. This is a, <laughs> another necklace, unusual necklace, but it's mm -hmm. a, it's a, a flute, a whistle. Mm -hmm. uh, it's actually called an ocarina. Ocarina. Ocarina, which means flute. Yeah. It looks like it was, it's like. <laughs> this almost looks like bone or shell to me. Yeah. And then this is. Ceramic? This is ceramic, I think. So they kind of molded it together they, or, or something. I, I don't know how they did that. I can't tell what it is, but it's cool. It really is cool. And it's got the holes on the top, so it makes different, you know, different sounds. So we thought it was a whistle. And then <laughs> the lady that sold it to she us said, She pointed no, out that, no, flute. it's actually a flute because it's got the holes in the top that are yeah. different sizes. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. Autumn, maybe you could do a little close-up on it. But yeah. Uh, it's got the holes in the front of it, and, or I mean on the top of it, and uh, yeah, it makes different noise, different tones when you cover and open the holes. By the way, Autumn is our editor in chief. She's our she's our film editor, and so that's what who Tim was referring to, and she does the awesome job of trying to make us look better than we are. <laughs> <laughs> There's a little bell. I've, we've sold a bunch of these. Big ones, little ones. Mm -hmm. This one's a little bit smaller than I think we've ever had. Mm -hmm. uh, we did just sell, not too long ago, probably three weeks ago. A, one a that was big one. Huge. It was about the size of a softball. Yeah, it was huge, but... Yeah, but this one, uh, I think it's called a claw or a bear claw. Or a claw. It's not bear claw, because that's like a donut. Yeah, <laughs> Unless you're a bear, then yeah. it would be a claw bear. But it's some kind of claw. But it has some kind of uh, etching on the outside of it all the way around. It mm -hmm. looks like feathers. Looks like it might be Native American. I mean, I don't know. Mm -mm. No, mm -mm. no. Mm -mm. Well, that's my opinion. I mean, who cares about everybody else's? <laughs> anyway, there it is. Um, my grandmother had a bunch of these. It has a nice tone. Um, my grandmother had a bunch of these, and I in, ended up with them. And um, I put them on some beads on my windows. And so I know that they're very, very old, easily, probably antiques. I would guess antiques. I, would guess I remember them from when I was probably, I don't want to give away my age, but... <laughs> But I remember okay. when I was very, very little. So um, I think they're antiques and it's, and it's neat. And I believe it's solid brass too. Oh yeah. It's definitely. Yeah, it's got some weight. These things are so cute, so whimsical. We had one, we got one. Where did, did we ever do it on? I the, have not listed it yet, but I do have one listed. We, yeah, we did. We did uh, it was the a, woman it with was the a big woman. mouth. Yeah, yeah. She had yeah. The big lips and big teeth. Yeah, and it's not listed yet, so I got to get it listed. We found a man Maybe to go with her. I can't. A cowboy to go with her. Look at that. These are uh, just a mug. Actually, I might list those two together. I think so. That they'd be a great idea. But husband, we'll lose money on that. Husband and wife. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna lose money. I'm for sure. But anyway, yeah. this is pretty cool. It is cool. Jerry can talk it's about fun. it. Well, you know, I don't think this one's marked like the woman was. Oh, look, still got a sticker on it. Oh, look at that. Um. Anyway, I don't. Yeah, it does have a mark on the bottom. Doggone it! And I just sorry. I did not research it because I had already researched the woman. But this one might be different because it has a different uh, artist on so it. So we might not so be we, selling we, them together. We might not because they're probably different artists. Yeah. But we'll see. I like Here's the another cowboy. item from the state sale and surprise, which is, I think, really, really cool. This is neat. I believe this I picked this neat. one up. You did. You did. You grabbed that up fast. Mm -hmm. This is, and it's got a little, uh, you might call it a certificate of authenticity. Uh, turquoise beads, the ghost dancer it's called. It's a got ritual. A little thing that says, uh, tells all about it in there, yeah. but it's Native American. Mm -hmm. uh, it's got real turquoise on the top. Yeah, a ritual basket. 
Ritual. The artist right. is Janet Reed Coed, if I'm pronouncing her name right. Tell us all about it. And uh, it's a it's a gourd, you know. It's a giant gourd. It's yeah, a giant it gourd, and it. Now, as we've said in the past, we've always show all of the flaws. We don't try to hide anything, but just about every dried gourd that you find, especially in Arizona, they're going to have a little bit of cracks or chipping, and this one has a little one right here. I don't know if you can see it. Mm -hmm. Again, Autumn, you could probably zoom in on it, but. It does have a little crack right there, but that's really, I don't think that's going to well, affect it Well, it's got some marks all. out here, but I think that's just part of its character. Yeah, that's you know? just, those are just uh, um, indentation marks. Ooh, yeah. This little bowl. This is a hard one. Because there is some writing on the bottom of this ding-dong bowl. It's a ding-dong bowl. It's, I bet you didn't know that was a thing. <laughs> and I can't, it's, you can't read it. I mean, if you kind of move it around in the light, you can kind of see it's got something under the glaze. But it, that glaze is so thick, you can't read it. Anyway, has a nice little lid for it. Take that off. Yeah. And uh, you know, the lid has a little design on the top of it. You can see it right there. Mm -hmm. You know. I yeah. I thought it was. It's not brown drip. I thought at first it was brown drip, but it's really neat because it kind of looks like the, it goes for the flash of the glaze goes yeah, up. The, look at the bottom of it. Yeah. Here. What and she's then, talking the, about. and then the top, the lid looks like a, a cross, almost like a plus sign. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, it's very pretty. Or it could be an X. I thought maybe hull a or cross, hall, or but an X. I can't read. I it's can't got read a cute it. Little uh, dolly handle on it. Couldn't. F I did a lot of research on it, and just I don't know whether I wasn't coming up with the right words. And you know. I don't know, but we've we've seen a lot of pottery uh, and ceramic work like this and everything, where they have lids, and the lids are just like a, like a, a straight cone. It's like you, you can't hold on to it to pick it up. <laughs> this one I like because mm. it's got a little coily mm -hmm. on the top. It's easy to pick yeah. up. It's easy to, yeah. you know, it's really nice. Real, really, a really, really pretty, nice. uh, really pretty. Thing, thing to put on your coffee table or it's end like table. It's got some gold. Some little, uh, it's got a little gold around gold the edge. Gold around the edge, mm -hmm. too. Yeah. That's nice. That's pretty nice. Is it a Lefton piggy bank? It, Lofton, Lefton? It's Lefton. Lefton. Yeah. yeah. Look at that. Look at that. I'm learning. I'm learning. <laughs> well, it does say Lefton on the bottom. Oh, does it? Yeah. I didn't even look at the bottom of it. Oh, it sure does. There's a Got a Lefton right tag. Yeah. It's even got a number on it. 07475. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it's missing a little plug, but that's not a big deal. You can get plugs. We can get plugs. Right. Yeah. So. So, yeah. He's got little roses painted on him, but I like, I like his cute little face and this, this little is, curly tail this is rosie the pig it's very large it is save large. up a lot it's, of money in there yeah, yeah yeah put a lot of pennies in there yeah uh one of the interesting things i thought about this one is as i did some research i, I see this um this piece Plastic. right here yeah i couldn't find another one with that so huh. but it's obviously factory i mean there's no way somebody did that yeah no no yeah. anyway but it's in good shape no chips no chips, no crap. He's not worth a lot of money, but, um, you know, he's just cool. So. This is really pretty. I've never really looked at it. You know what? I want to, I, I'm really confused about this. Okay. Because show the bottom. Made in Italy. Made in Italy. Jesus. Okay. Yeah, Italy. <sighs> yeah. Picked this up at an estate sale. Didn't really think twice about it because, you know, estate sales it's, are older people. and It's signed, too. I think that's GI, whatever that means. GI. I don't know. But did somebody stick these on here? Because it just doesn't look right for Italy for me. It, like, and they won't come off. You think somebody glued those on? I don't know. I mean, I mean they, it, they must use E6000, right? So yeah. Like, yeah. I don't know, but it's really pretty. It's pretty, and I, I think they did a good job with the little gemstones, but... Nice little glass. I don't know if somebody did that or if it, if that's factory. I mean, it could be, I guess. This is a tougher one here. Yeah. Uh, Beryl, what is it, Burley? Burley and Terrell? Is that what it's called? Yeah. <laughs> Burley, and Burley Tyrell. and Tyrell. Yeah. It's got a signature, Which a number is, and a signature, yeah. though. Um, it's a three-footed, I would say trivet, 
Yeah. It might be something trivet. else, but I think it's a trivet. Yeah. Um, I think it's pretty old. Uh, it's porcelain, I believe. My biggest issue is I looked at it when we were shopping and I said, oh yeah, that's really nice. That's a pretty unusual um, mark. And it is, there's not a whole lot of them out there. Um, but it's got this, where is it? It's got this spot where it's kind of, see the ink, the paint is rubbed off. Oh, I didn't notice that. Yeah. And then the bird is a little bit rubbed. The bird is a little yeah. bit rubbed too. But, but I mean, it's it's pretty old, you yeah. know. Yeah. But. Out of Chicago. Burley, Burley and Tyrell. Tyrell, yeah. Out of Chicago. And I guess it's probably, I don't know, maybe Victorian. I don't know. I didn't figure that one out. Oop, there it is. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That was kind my of dad looks for the day. looks kind of modern, doesn't it? Doesn't look I don't very think modern. it is. Um, it's by Toyo, 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 T O Y O. As in Toyota. Yeah. Well, kind of, I guess. It's got foot on those little foots on the bottom. What, what, what are those? To it's got a yeah Toyo uh -huh. sticker. Mm -hmm. Got a Toyo sticker. Mm -hmm. It it was. Um, it had the ugly flowers in it. They had it out on the oh, patio, yeah. and it had these horribly ugly flowers in it. So uh, I picked it up, and I thought, is that a chip? No, that's just dirt. No. I picked it up, and Fire or cleaner. I thought, well, I didn't clean that one. Um, it's it, it's nice. It's, uh, it's kind of modern looking, but it's not. It's not real new. Um, and I don't know, just kind of nice. I mean, I've got a Hager, a black Hager that I think that we've shown on other hauls that would look really good with this. Oh, really yeah. Really good with this. So yeah. high gloss, black mm -hmm. high gloss would mm -hmm. really look good together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. This is a cute little uh, Asian, is it Asian? Yes. It's a lacquer box. And you know, I always... Start keeping lacquer in. I always... <laughs> thought these were lacquered boxes. Like they were wood and somebody had lacquered them. Well, it turns out, I learned, lacquer is actually from a tree. It's a natural made plastic. Is this plastic? It's a natural plastic from a tree. It's not made with chemicals like the plastic we know of. Hmm. I know. It's the lacquer tree and I can't, I, oh, I I wanted to write the name of that tree down and I I don't know but it's made in Japan and so they're lacquer boxes from the lacquer tree not lacquered like they didn't paint lacquer over wood yeah what does OMC stand for well that's the maker OMC Japan yeah that's the maker yeah and it's just a little box it's it'd be great for jewelry Japanese right trinket here. whatever so. it's kind of big for a trinket but yeah it'd be great to put a oh it's for storing your lacquer in Yeah. This little man is just... This like, was Tim's picture. When I walked by this little guy, reminded yeah. so much of me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just had to get him. <laughs> yeah. Tim's German. He's I don't know how this environment yeah. reminds him. <laughs> this is looking like he's having a good time playing his guitar. Yeah, he, he's having a good time. Yeah. We picked it up. Well, Tim picked it up. And he said, yeah, this is cute. Let's get There's this. Mexico one. on it right Yeah, there. yeah. And it is. It's cute. And it'd be a fun little decoration. Turns out you can buy an entire band yeah. that match each other. And we didn't see the whole band. We only saw him. I don't think that they oh, had the whole we, band. If they had the whole band, oh, I would have taken him. the whole band. I would have got him. Yeah. But that's one of those things that's just kind of fun to collect. So you grab him and you start looking for his other band member. And who knows? Maybe somebody else has a, a band and they're missing and this they're, one guy. And they're missing this, uh, what is he, a He's guitar? A guitar, yeah. yeah. He's a mari mariachi guy. Yeah. So, a little fat one. <laughs> but they are, they're all different. Some of them are, have black and gold. And exactly. so you'd, if you were going to collect it, you'd have to look for this, this red and gold kind of one. But, yeah. but that would be fun. He's Just what we buy call one and start with challenge. Yeah. yeah, he is a little stubby. Kind of like me. He's a little stubby. Say, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so, yeah, I'm not too fat. I'm just too tall for my weight. Too short. Too, too short, short for my height. Not too tall. Whatever. Anyway. <sighs> Give me that. 
So you can have that. This guy looks like a ceremonial piece. I would say Aztec. Decoration. What do you think say Aztec? Aztec, yeah. Mayan? Mayan, Aztec, yeah. yeah. Same, same, same. We get a lot of that kind of stuff out here, which is great. You get a lot of it. Because that. it's different. This also came from that same estate sale lady where they said she traveled a lot. So mm -hmm. it's very possible this mm -hmm. might have came from Mexico yeah. down yeah. where the Mayans were, Aztecs were. Uh, you know. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's it's really cool. I don't know. Other than it that, is I don't cool. know anything about it. No, I mean, it's. Um, I honestly didn't see any other ones like it. It's just a fun way to decorate. Uh, if you like to decorate Southwestern, a lot of people do, or or African even. Well, no, it's not African, but you know, South American. Mm -hmm. South American. Yeah. 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 The big, giant, tall candy dish. I think it's 14 inches. Yeah. And I know that because we already have one. Yeah, I was gonna say, don't we already have one or two of these? And it's listed. And honestly, lazy me, huh? I think this one's nicer than the other one. Mm. I don't know. Maybe they're the same. We picked two up. We picked two up at this estate sale. So now we have three. Now we have three. And and honestly, I thought make somebody a deal if they want to buy all three of them. I could list I could list this without listing it. You know, I can just change the quantity to three. Fifteen dollars later, two more. I've got three. And I just, all I had to do was change the quantity. And so, and because they are desirable and worth quite a bit of money, I bought the other two. I might put one in the booth. Oh, two more. I might put one in the booth. Yeah. Yeah, I could do that. <laughs> and this is, this is like, I mean, this, this Tupperware pie carrier is like, brand new there's not a you know a lot of times you'll see them with a lot of scratches on the bottom or, or scratches on the inside yeah. this one or comes, missing in the handle this one comes with the handle has yeah. a handle in it mm -hmm. uh you see it's got the little indentation for the pies i mean this thing is i i swear it is like brand new i bet she didn't use it five yeah. times because a lot of times you'll see knife scratches and stuff right. well there's a little bit but it's not too bad not um all. The lid's oh, usually yeah. all scratched up, but... It's nice. I mean, it's, it's nice. We sold a couple, couple of these at the scratches. holidays, and they're yeah. wonderful to We have. couldn't keep them. The ones we, we yeah. bought them earlier, like before Thanksgiving, and they just... And this is one of those things that even though it's not very unusual, it'll fly off the shelf. We know it'll sell. I'm going to show our, heart, our heartbreaker. We were Watch so sad. Watch me be sad, because we were I so was sad. really sad when this happened. We were so sad. It was an accident and it happens, but you know, <gasps> hey, maybe somebody's looking for three quarters of one of these. Three this is a California glass. California pottery. California pottery. Yeah. And it's got only three of these. It's you the chip one. and dip. So I dropped. I had, dropped one. It had four. Lazy Susan. Yeah, Lazy, Lazy Susan. Lazy Susan, carrier. really nice shape. So we're just gonna hang on to it. Maybe yeah. somewhere someday it. we'll find the fourth one and we'll ask whoever's selling it. Would you sell me just this one? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we this should have put is, it all together for this. You know what? We should have at least had the lid out. I need to show that lid, dump it or something. There, there it is. Joseph Strauss was a very early puzzle, a very early puzzle maker in the 1930s uh, in Brooklyn, New York. And he made these puzzles uh, in the 30s, in, and he just sold them in these plain boxes. Tan, red, and blue, I think, or green or something. No picture to go by like you do when you put the puzzles together. Just, just Well, they're big, they're big pieces, so they, they're, they're pretty easy to put together. Pieces. But they they're plywood pieces. They're not cardboard. Yeah, they are cut out of thin plywood. Yeah. And uh, Tim and I sat down to put it together and turned out it was two. It was North America and South America. I thought it's, it was going to be one right big. On North America yeah. and South America. But it was actually two separate puzzles. Two separate puzzles. Each puzzle was missing three pieces. Um, yeah, and we'll probably donate it or throw it away. Or, I don't know. We'll probably won't throw it away. No, but I don't want to be a hoarder. But it's missing three, it's missing six pieces. So I, you know, I'm not gonna sell it. Me. Somebody me. I have one. You know what, if you say it's missing, cause it's 
it's well, cut the by the countries. If you tell them which countries are missing, maybe somebody say, well, hey, I've got one that's missing this country and this country. Well, that's possible. So I could put I it mean, together. I mean, even if I could just get 75 cents for it. I just right? dropped one. You did. Now we're missing seven pieces. Yeah, really? yeah. Yeah, this is okay. cool. Here, I'll let you. I'll uh, hand them to these, you. you these are them. fantastic. Look at these. Look at these earrings. They're pierced. So, ah, more people can... I know more people can wear, more women can can wear them, but they're um, covered with fabric. It's almost like a fabric button or something, but they're pierced earrings. They're from Carol. They're vintage, um, and I just think they're really cool. And they're different. I didn't find any more on the on the internet. Um, they're just they're just darn fun. Just Probably. and look, each one, they're both a little different too. They're not identical. Mm. I know. They're just a little true. different, so. These two are, however, they are. Identical. Oh, these are kind of fun. Uh, lion, say, lion say faces. This, say this one I did mine. find one other set of these on, on the web, but just one other the set. Word. They're not gold; they're gold tone. But they got the little lions, and they're just different. So I picked them up. These are clip-on. Yeah, these. And there's a necklace. That this is an this old, is old set. Yeah. This is a really pretty, I, I want to say, I just, I don't even know. I don't even know, but it's old. It's an old set. Um, I don't know. It's just neat. It's just neat. And, and these days it's back in fashion. It looks twenties to me, but I don't think it is, but they are clip-ons. So I know they're. They're pretty old since they're clip-ons. I didn't find any markings, but I'm gonna look harder. There might be some markings on it. Um, yeah, that would be really cool. Anyway, this so. This little yeah. pin is just awesome. I know. Russian. You know what, this is another lacquer piece. Little Russian stacking It's dolls. It's either um, painted wood or lacquer. You'll have to look at it closer, but I think it's lacquer. It's Russian, I think it's probably Russian. It could be. Mm -hmm. They look like okay. we have some Russian stacking dolls. Mariushki, Mariashki. And these look, they're painted. They're nesting very, dolls. Very, very nesting dolls. That's mm -hmm. what I meant. They're very, very painted similar to those mm -hmm. that we have. Mm -hmm. They're pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I thought it really It's neat. a little pin. Yeah, it's just a, ah, it's just a little pin. See, it's got mm -hmm. a pin on the back. And, mm -hmm. You know. That's different. You wear that on your, I mean, I mean, if I wore that on my cow neck here, that would look really cool. And it, and you know, people would be like, oh look, you have nesting dolls. Yeah. I do. Nesting dolls. But this, this is, is not last. This, this is, is not last. Yeah, this, this is good, but this is not last. This is a handmade, this up yeah, sure, well, if you it. can, if everybody can see it. It's a, it's a handmade quilt. If you've been watching our shopping videos, you might have seen, uh, oh, that's backwards. You might have seen me show it, and I said, ooh, I think I'm going to bid on that. Well, I won! And I bid 20, and it's a, it's a basket quilt. It it has some age on it, but it's in really good condition, not real big. So it's more of a lap quilt. It's like 60 by 40. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a lap quilt, maybe a baby quilt. It would make a great baby quilt. Um, and uh, I... I have not looked it up, but I think I can probably get in great condition. Too. It's really good condition. And by looking at the fabrics, I'd say the age might be 70s or 80s. I don't think it's extremely old. Um, but it is it is vintage. Maybe 60 or 70 dollars or 20 dollar investment. And I like quilts. And they're easy to ship. And they're just easy to list and and everybody loves them, so why not? But I think it would be great for a baby or a lap quilt. Yes, either mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. That would be nice. Mm -hmm. Lady that traveled the world, they yeah. said she was a world traveler. Ah. This is awesome. You might want to show this one first. Yes. It's not as shocking as <laughs> the other one. This Jerry will tell you all about. It. Oh, I can't. I, well, it's um. Now this took some. This was you talk about unusual. There are some on Etsy, but it's only one lady, and she's in Guatemala. This is Gua, a Guatemalan textile, and they're called panels. 
And what they use them for is they co they cover it. They either cover their head, they cover food. They, they have a million different things they use them for. They're a good size for that. That's like 27 by 23 yeah. uh, inches. These are, this is woven. This fabric is woven. The, the embroidery or needlepoint is done with dyed uh, yarn that they use. They actually used food and plants to dye their yarn. Um, and this one, I, I just didn't know enough about it. So I, I wrote the lady at Etsy about it because she obviously knew a lot about it. She was from Guatemala. She was selling vintage uh, Guatemalan panels. And so I sent her pictures of them and she told me they're from about the 1950s and they were used every day. They were for everyday use. They, they weren't like a, a souvenir piece. They, they actually were for, for everyday use. Daily use. Daily use. This yeah. was a bit unusual too in, in the fact yeah. that all of these rows are all- You might want to get closer. Either, kind of hard to either cows or bulls, except for this one row right here. Yeah. Oh, and it's they got three horses with three little and they do tell stories, I, but I don't, I I don't know what the story is. And so, but it would be cool. Those are those know. three are horses. All the rest, all the rest of them, are either cattle or there's some sort of cow mm -hmm. or a bull cow. And the basically. yeah, the row at the bottom here, this row, the 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 colors are different. The horns are are black. Whereas the other ones, the horns are red, the same color as the rest of the animal. Uh, they're just a little different. Each row is a little different. And they said that the uh, the different colors had different meanings mm -hmm. pertaining to the... And red means... What, what they were making. Is, is the, fertility. Yeah. Yeah. So that was kind of cool. This one's a little more shocking, but it's cool because it's so large. The animals are so large. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. We might get thrown it's a little, off of YouTube. It's a little PG. <laughs> it's a little PG. But and once I said, once I, I mean, as I said, red is means fertility. So, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. I think that kind of says it all. It right kind there. of says it all. Yeah. Same thing. Two Same thing. Two dollars and fifty cents. Two dollars and fifty cents. They are okay. original Guatemalan. Guatemalan, nineteen fifties. Nineteen fifties. Everyday use, and which what I think, in the I world? think for everyday use, I would think that they would be in a lot oh. worse condition. Yeah. But I think this lady bought these and they never got used and she just brought them home and put them in her trunk. I don't think she ever Maybe. used them. Well, here's the thing. So I found them to in the garage where the black diamond mm -hmm. point was mm -hmm. in a dusty cedar chest. And... Uh, I picked them up. It's funny because you know you pick something up and you go, "Well, this looks like something." And for two dollars and fifty cents, hey, I'll take it home and, and hey, check it, it out. It fell. It fell right into our things unusual, that are unusual, unusual things, unusual things, things, unusual, things, things yeah. unusual items. Uh huh. Fell right into that yeah, category. It did. So, so go we ahead. Got it. Yeah. So Jerry talked to this lady from Guatemala. Well. Well, texted her. Talked to her via text. She didn't call her or anything, but talked to her via text. And before the end of the conversation, she offered us $300 for the pair. So we're thinking, well, if she's willing to offer us that kind of money for them, we should probably look into this a little stronger, see what they're actually worth. So Yeah, because she's a reseller, and I don't blame her no, at all. Not at all. But I would like to know really what they're worth. Yeah. So we're going to have an appraiser look at them. Yeah. Because... If they're really worth that much, it's not going to hurt to spend a little money on an appraisal. Yeah. So it, it was kind of hard to track down somebody that knew Guatemalan textiles yeah. to give us an appraisal. I looked all over Phoenix; nobody could nobody could help me. And so we're going to end up asking uh, Dr. Lori about it. If you've ever watched her YouTube's, she's a very smart lady, and I think mm -hmm. she can probably give us a pretty good appraisal on it. Anyway, that's that's it. That's our haul that's for our, our two estate sales. Two estate We're sales. pretty excited about yeah. it because we did get some stuff that was very, very different. Very different. Very different. But than, I think it'll be yeah. good. I think we'll do all right on all of it. So mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, all right, don't don't forget, please. Uh, subscribe. Subscribe, like, share. Like our comment. We have share. Etsy we have Etsy store, we have eBay store. You'll see them in the descriptions uh, mm -hmm. below. 
And uh, feel free to go in there and browse around, look at, and. Uh, you see something you like something here? Something you like? Um, you can email us. Yeah. We'll put the email right down here. And you have got to just let us know if there's something you saw that you want before we get it listed. Sure. Yeah. Yep. Cheers to you. Cheers to you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching we'll our see you channel. Next time.